Hi, I'm Sam Staskell, and thanks for joining me for episode two of Funny Things That Happen to Real Estate Agents. I'm so excited for you to meet the guests this week. So before I bring on my guest this week, I just want to put a plug in that if you are a realtor and you have some funny stories that you'd like to share and you want to be on the show, you can um, send an email to um, funnythingsre at gmail.com or you can send it to my personal email, which is samstaskelsells at gmail.com. So without a further ado, let me introduce my guest this week is Joanne Rosinski from North Carolina. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank, Thank you for joining you. me. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Let's uh, talk a little bit about you first. You live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I do in a little town called Cornelius, kind of northern Charlotte. Okay. Uh, I am a own my own company, On Point Transaction Management. I do contract to close and listings and training agents how to do everything. Right. Um, I have been in real estate, started as an office manager for a company in New Mexico. And then when I moved here, had two small children and just started doing real estate administration, contract to close. Um, and then that transitioned into me being my own business. So I've been back in the business since they had the cell phones that were, you know, <clears throat> this big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that our kids can't believe, right? <laughs> that we carried a cell phone around in a giant bag. <laughs> right? So you've been in about 24 years, you said? About four years, yeah. Well, a little yeah. over. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, we started out with no voicemail. Voicemail was not a thing. So, you <laughs> I know, we just, <laughs> I installed our office's first voicemail system, and nobody liked it because they thought they were going to lose the personal touch. Mm -hmm. And then after 90 days, they absolutely loved it. And um, all of our listings came in a catalog every week. And it was a little black and white thing about this big that had – one picture of the house and some basic information. So we have come a really long way. <laughs> so I have a question about that. So the listing packet that you got, was that the whole MLS? That or was the whole MLS. Your office? Oh, okay. So no, 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 it was all, you had to submit every week your listings. Right. And oh then they gosh. would print like the newspaper yeah. every week and it would get this big catalog would come with all the, the listings. That's yeah, that's just insane because now, you know, I mean, they're practically sold when they hit the market, you know, oh. if, if the market's that hot, I can't imagine waiting for a week for oh. my packets to come around. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, that'd be awful. Yes. So thank yeah, God yeah. for technology. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So it's, it's, it's all, a, you know, a really good things. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's, uh, let's delve into some of your stories here. You told me a really good one today that I am hoping I don't cry off my eyeliner again. <laughs> Um, <laughs> tell me about the uneducated seller you dealt with. Okay. So I was at this time working as just an admin for one agent and he had taken a listing and it sold. So, you know, we evolve as admin and our, um, templates for our emails that go out and our phone calls. So I had kind of sent him one, you know, 10 day email. And then I called him to say, Hey, you know, you're closing in about two weeks and this is what you right. have to do and um, go ahead and bring the keys to closing with you and the extra keys, you know, you're going to leave at the house in the counter. And he said, why do I have to bring the keys to closing? And I said, so what happens, you know, you close and then every, all the paperwork is signed and then you give the keys to the buyers. And he said, why am I going to give the keys to the buyers? <laughs> and I said, cause I want them move into their house. So, you know, they're going to, it's going right. to, this is going to be their house now. And he said, um, no one told me that I was going to have to move out of my house. And I was like, oh, that kind of was like funny. Just being funny. Right. <laughs> oh, you had me go in there for a minute. <laughs> the funny thing, the buyers, you know, just spending a lot of money today and they're going to want to, you know, move into their house, you know. Yeah, which part of this didn't you get? <laughs> Oh my so God. I'm like, oh, he's joking with me, right? <laughs> and he said, No, I was not told that I was going to have to move out of my house. And I was all, Well, 
okay, so, um, you know, now I'm kind of stumbling a little bit, like dumbfounded, like, I, I didn't know if this man was like, pulling my leg or, <laughs> and I, I was just like, well, so here's the process, and, you know, we still got time, and then I started going through, like, maybe he's just, you know, emptying the garbage, that kind of cleaning the house, and he got irate, yeah. like, irate. and he said, I'm not kidding. No one told me I was going to have to move out of my house at closing. And I was all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point where you're like, I wish I had a lawyer on speed dial. <laughs> like, oh, no. Thank goodness the agent was like in the office at the time. And I was looking at him like. <laughs> yeah. You want to help me out with this? <laughs> He's looking at me telling me, well, tell he needs to move out. I'm like, no, you tell me. <laughs> Yeah. It was just, it, it just kind of blew up because he had bought and sold before. So I don't right. understand where the, you know, why didn't he think it was going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> That's where like, you have to be careful how you word things and not, you know, like right. I always say, if you're a buyer, don't speak to the seller, you know, because you don't want to <laughs> commit to anything unintentionally, right. you know, Absolutely. But apparently, you know, he should have at least talked to his agent. I don't know what he was thinking. He was doing. You know, he's getting emails from me, you know, well, this is still back in 2007-ish, you know, yeah. we still didn't have, you know, I was still like getting pictures from the photo thing and putting me in the photo book with glue sticks, right? So <laughs> yeah. And we're still feeling a little antiquated, but, you know, we start this whole thing off with, you know, you're closing and you go to the attorney. Are you going to be right. here for closing so you can sign the paperwork? So mm -hmm. we go through this whole thing. So, yeah, over my 25 plus years of doing this, my email templates have evolved. You will move out of your house at X and such time. It'll be clean. <laughs> I have to pop up this comment here because somebody knows what we're going through. She says, my in-laws were shocked when they closed that they had to be out. They thought they still had a month. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like an agent's worst nightmare. I mean, my biggest fear is, like, they're not fully moved out, you know? And everybody had that where, you know, like, we're taking our last load now. We'll be gone, you know, within an hour, you know? And you're like, okay, you know, it just took longer than what, what they thought, you know? But to have no intention at all of, of no, moving. No. I didn't know I had to move out of my house. I'm like... Okay, we need some, you know, like common sense here. <laughs> and I would hate someone that has to break it to them that, hey, you you got to go. <laughs> you got to get a lot of money for this house and, you know, you need to leave now. <laughs> I mean, that's like, he, he wanted his cake and to eat it too. I mean, he wanted I mean, the money for the house, but he wanted to live in the house. Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't want to make the mortgage payments or I don't want to pay rent because I'm not a renter because I live in this house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so now I tell, you know, you got to move out of your house. It's got to be clean. Yeah. You know, and that's the templates of my phone calls, you know, I've gotten very yeah, the system in place now to avoid this in the future. Just so we're clear, my little disclaimer in every email is you need to be out by closing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes. You might think yeah. you have to put that in there, but apparently some people still need that. <laughs> yeah. Clear directions. Yes. <laughs> Oh, now what about your seller that uh, couldn't make it to closing? Okay, so that was, you know, <laughs> recently. So we're getting the good email templates. And I always have like a process phone call with my buyers and my sellers before, you know, we get the whole ball rolling. Right, yeah. Are you going to come to closing? Yes, we're coming to mm -hmm. closing. Great. You know, so we're going down. And again, my little email goes out. Here's what you have to do. The right. first two weeks and get this call. Hey, hey, you ready? You know, everything. Oh, well, yeah. Um, but we're in Colombia. And I'm like, oh, great. You know, I love the zoo. <laughs> Did you get to go to the zoo? Because we it's you know, just south of us, like you know, right. Colombia, North Carolina. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. happy about yeah. it. <laughs> you know, so, Why are you talking to this? That's like 10 right. days away. We can do this. Perfect. If you are down there, I can get a notary for you. No problem. We can get the deed down to you. Not a problem. And there are no, like, as in South America. And I'm all, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and when are you coming back? 
<laughs> we can postpone it a day if we need to. <laughs> well, you have technically, I guess we have in North Carolina, we have 14 days after the registered closing date. Oh, really? Okay. And I said, well, you do have an additional 14 days if we need to close. <laughs> but I'll have to work out the detail. No, we're not coming back. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, do you have a consulate there or an embassy? Because we're yeah. not send the paperwork to you, you're going to have to get it notarized, we're going to have to get it, and we got to do that like today, because I don't know how long it's going to take to get from Columbia back to Charlotte, no, no, that's, no, not convenient, it's not convenient, and I'm all, okay. <laughs> not convenient? Not convenient? Why didn't you call me? <laughs> A quick 10 minute phone call would have, would have solved everything in 15 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, we could have signed early. You could sign early instead of you know late. But <laughs> so how did you how did you fix that? Well, they thank heavens had um, they were selling as a company, so uh, they got somebody to join their company. <laughs> but the Secretary of State, I don't know how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> so a guy joined the company just so he could sign the paper to make the sale final. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> that's just one of those, you're where? <laughs> that's one of those things where you have to start thinking about like your tax options. Like, is it smarter for me to fly back and sign the paperwork? Or, or is it smarter for me for taxes to take this new employee just to sign this paper? <laughs> you know? I mean, there's there's like no thought process behind it. Like, this no. is the right idea. We're just going to make this no. guy, you know, CEO and he'll sign. It's all right. Somebody <laughs> told oh me everything electronically. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, you have to physically sign the piece of paper that transfers the property to somebody else. <laughs> and that's where you're thinking to yourself, I wonder if this is a legal sale. <laughs> 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 this Joe Schmo that's showing up to sign the paper, he now works for the company. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that was one of those, where are you? <laughs> you know, we, we have sellers that go out right. all the time, you know, but there's usually a consular or something that they can, right. or they can sign the paperwork and get it back to us. So that's right. foreign to me. You know? you know, we always, we always make it a point to tell our buyers during the transaction, you know, like don't buy a car, don't open any lines of credit, you know, all these warnings we give the buyer, but you never think that you need to give the seller, don't move out of the country. Because when we started, you know, they didn't live out of the country, right? Right. Are you, are you coming to closing? Yes. Yes, we're coming to, okay. Yeah. We're good to go. You're in Charlotte and you're coming to closing. <laughs> yeah. A week later, boom, we moved to Columbia. <laughs> oh, we're out of here. I'm like, me, Joe, he's the new CEO. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's good. I can imagine, like, you're really good at, I mean, you've been in it long enough that I'm sure that you're like, okay, I need dot, 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 you know, and, and this will be good. You know, we can make this work, you know, where I'd be like, oh my God, you did what? <laughs> you're in Columbia? You know, I took a geography. Where's that? <laughs> well, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, we're just down the road, right? Where is no big deal. I know lots of attorneys down there. We can, we can yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that took a couple of attorney calls and back and forth. And Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, that, that was person probably didn't even learn their lesson. They'd probably do it again. You know, because yeah. you made it work this time. You can make it work next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to send them to you. <laughs> How do you solve this? Oh, good God. <laughs> All right. And what about the um, buyers that you were helping that uh, she needed a little help getting around? Yeah. So, um, you know, I... I pretty much behind a desk all the time. Um, but occasionally if an agent is sick or needs help and they reach out to me and it's close, I will go show a property for them. Right. And um, it's kind of like, you know, good thing to do, help out. So this is like around the corner and I'm meeting a gentleman there and um, he parks, I can see him park and this condo is like on the third floor. And, um, I go around and I'm introducing myself. Great, great. And he's like, well, my girlfriend wants to come. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> so he's like, she's going to need some help. Okay. So we walk around <laughs> the side of the car, 
He opens the door and she's bandaged from her entire head. Like she's just a hot mess. Like a mummy. Like a mummy. <laughs> With a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> she just had plastic surgery, and I'm like, oh, I'm so, you know, what do you say? I'm so sorry. Oh, you right. look great. Oh, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now we we got her out of the car, and we're now we're having to help her walk to you know to the stairs, and then all the way up the stairs. Uh, 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 and I'm like. Are you sure you want to schedule another day? No, no, no. And you can't understand her talking. Right. It was a poor thing. <laughs> so we get up there and she's trying to talk about the paint colors and leaning against the counter. And I can't understand anything she's saying. But she says, I gotta sit down. <laughs> so she's sitting on the floor pointing at things. Uh, she's just jogging away and I'm like okay <laughs> I see I get it oh, right. that's it. <laughs> no that's okay that'll, you know, that'll, that's a good idea right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was a long time before she finally said I gotta go and I was like <laughs> yes we've gotta go <laughs> thank goodness let's go <laughs> I can't do now. No, you shouldn't be here. You should be. I said, you need to go home and quit. get back into bed. Yes. <laughs> and I said, yeah. do not leave the house to go look at a house if you've just had any kind of surgery. No, it's just right. <laughs> I'm sure that was against doctor's orders, too. Right. But if you just had major surgery on your face, you probably aren't supposed to be walking upstairs. No, and if you're just full of bandages and <laughs> black and blue and everything swollen, no, no, we just. You don't need to leave the house right now. <laughs> <laughs> so did they end up buying that place? They did. They, they did. did. Well, at least it was worth it then. True. Yes. I, yes, mean, it was I don't know if it was worth it to her. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, that point, I don't know if, because the agent took her, I was just showing them the home and the agent right. took her after that. So I don't know if she even got to go to the place again, the girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> Bless her heart. We don't even know if she's still a girlfriend. <laughs> right. right. Or what she even looked like when she took all that off. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Like if I ran into her in a lighted place, I wouldn't know who she was. Right. So. right. Yeah. And she'd be like, oh, thank you. You'd be like, who are you? Oh. I'm the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, and that's one of those things where, you know, like, you notice people have differences and stuff, but you try not to like focus on those things. But I mean, how could you not just like sit and stare at this mommy as she's trying to talk? I mean, I've just been like, huh? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Looking what? in there like, can you even see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. that's good. Yeah, no, so All you right. just don't flow, right? <laughs> and your last story was... Was oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back in the day when I worked for an ex like a large team, mm -hmm. I was the transaction coordinator for four buyers agents and two listing agents. And at that time, I went to all the inspections. So we were at a home in near Lake Norman, one of the bigger lakes in the Charlotte area, mm -hmm. and they are doing the septic inspection. And the buyer and I. We're just standing there talking, watching these guys take the right. tank off, and they bring hoses and they're cleaning it all out. They're getting all the goo out, <clears throat> and we're talking away, la la la, not paying too much attention. And all of a sudden, there's wet stuff falling from the sky. <laughs> it's a beautiful, clear day in Charlotte. <laughs> it's a little misty. <laughs> this is a lot of water. <laughs> You smell that? <laughs> so I look at the buyer. The buyer's looking at me, and we're both like, oh. <laughs> 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 Is it colored? <laughs> it's on my face. <laughs> oh, God, yuck. <laughs> we're looking at each other going, oh, oh. <laughs> 
you're like, why did I volunteer to come today? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just, because it was like almost immediate when we were, it was just, <laughs> and we both thought the same thing, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is just oh no you know, yeah. this, is, this is one of those things this is not worth it no no <laughs> shut it off <laughs> I don't even know if you can shut it off you know when they're pumping the system <laughs> they probably didn't even know what was happening right I mean they're busy yeah. doing their own thing they probably aren't paying attention to where the hose is pointed yeah. you know, it's a big big huge hose that goes from the track to <laughs> right they use a garden hose, I guess, to, they were, you know, squirting down. And oh. I guess what had happened was. <clears throat> like a spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, let go of the garden hose. And the garden hose was going, shit. <laughs> for a hot second there, both the buyer and I were just like mortified, like, oh my God. <laughs> I'd be like, call an office. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cancel all my appointments. I'm just gonna take the rest of the day. Off. I was we were both kind of really kind of wet at that point. So. <laughs> <laughs> the office told him the story, and I'm like, so I don't know exactly where that was coming from because it was pointed down into the right. Cave, but it was, you know, I I don't know. Next, there's no way it was straight water. You know, I mean, that just doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to take a shower because we just don't know what we got hit with. So. <laughs> I won't be in this afternoon. <laughs> got to wipe down the whole inside of your car now. You got to go to the hospital and get a hepatitis B vaccine. <laughs> I mean, this could go a million ways. <laughs> oh, better you than me. He's like, you know, Hey, Joanne, you need to get us there, whatever. And I'm like, okay, no problem. But I mean, on that day, if they want, I said, if you want to go stand, I'm going to be in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've okay. been there when they inspected it. I go when they inspect it, but I'm never there when they have to pump it. <laughs> I guess now I've learned I don't want to be there when they pump it. You know, I like to learn how things work. So I like to go to the inspection because you learn so much, you know, know. that you don't know it. I don't even so, know how to pump the septic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm never going to use that. <laughs> no. Yeah, same thing. I go and they've got everything taken apart and they're like, well, we need to show you. And I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> Any water? <laughs> you need to not, you know, so if they're not sucking something out of there or squirting something in, then I yeah. go look at it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't stand directly where you're just like. <laughs> If you need me, I'm <laughs> oh, you are great. <laughs> I told everybody I was so excited about you coming on tonight because you were just so funny. I mean, I I laugh so hard that I have tears, you know, and it's just, it's nice. It's all good laughter. It's, it's funny when it happens to somebody else. <laughs> when I saw you, I still show people your, the showing video. Yeah. And it's, I'm not a pretty laugher. And so <laughs> I'm like, watch this and they're trying to watch it. I'm hysterically laughing, starting, eyes are running. <laughs> it's like, oh, I love her. Her laugh is so infectious. <laughs> yeah, and now I, I'm mindful now when I laugh cry because in that video, somebody pointed out later that I didn't have eye makeup on one eye. Well, I did when I started my day, I swear. <laughs> and you just had to point it out, didn't you? Like I wasn't having a bad enough time. <laughs> It was a bad day showing, and you have to point that out. <laughs> yeah. Come on, like that. Or my clipboard Yeah, that was the least of my problems. I didn't even need to know that. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been great. Thank you so much. Oh, um, you really so much. appreciate you coming on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to pop you off here for a second. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thanks. Okay, so that was Joanne Rosinski from North Carolina. I hope you guys all enjoyed her stories. I sure did. I think uh, I haven't laughed that hard um, in quite a while. <laughs> and I'm a laugher. So if you, again, if you're uh, in real estate and you have a funny story to share or want to be on the show, please reach out to funnythingsre at gmail.com. And also I want to say that if you are looking to improve your business, or um, maybe you're not growing as much as you want to, 
um, my business partner and I would be happy to do a strategy call with you. Um, we can do it via Zoom or three-way call. If you're interested in that, please email samstaskelcells at gmail.com. And that's it for this week. And I'm hoping you will all join me again next week for, um, we have, let me see who's on next week. Sorry. Amanda Patterson from New York. So you aren't going to want to miss that. I'm going to, I'm looking forward to her New York accent because I love those. So join us next week on Wednesday, at seven o'clock PM central. Hope to see you then. Have a good night.